Hello everybody, I am back again with another video. Today I will be reviewing for you new YSL Y Ofresh 2020. If you're first time here, my name is Mehdi, I am talking about fragrances. If you don't want to lose my new uploads, I upload frequently. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I want to start by presentation at first. It comes in a very simple box. It is good, but quality is good. It is not that much thin. At the front, at the back, it's very simple, nothing going on that much, it's not very well type of presentation. Yeah, YSL, Y Ofresh, just I don't know if it is a real Ofresh or if it is EDT by name of Ofresh, sometimes because fragrances are EDT at all, but the name, the trade name is Ofresh, because concentration of Ofresh is 1 to 3%, it smells like Ofresh also for me or EDT at least it is not that much concentrated we have eau fresh 1 to 3 percent oil concentration then eau de cologne 3 to 5 eau de toilette eau de parfum parfum and so on so i believe this is EDT it doesn't matter at all so the bottle is cool frosted and cloudy type of bottle by white cap cap is a little bit heavy not that much this I can say solid plastic and the sprayer very good so let's talk about the scent I have the droid on here it smells good I have the droid on here but I want to remember the scent again the opening let's have two shots okay and it is pretty shiny I liked it reminds me of at the opening a little bit some other fragrances this fragrance is not that unique I cannot say to this one unique groundbreaking, but it is very pleasant. It is citrusy and woody, but reminds me of somehow Versace Purum at the opening. Not as fuzzy as this fragrance and not aquatic. This fragrance is aquatic citrusy. This is woody citrusy to my taste, to my nose. But both are very great citrusy. It reminds me of uh, Versace Purum at the opening, but this one is a bit more fuzzy and aquatic. That fuzziness is not available here. And that aquaticness as well. This is not aquatic. Okay. When I smell deeply the spot that I uh, applied the fragrance, there is something unpleasant at the back, like uh, rooty, muddy vibe, I can say. But it is not pleasant. But in the air, fragrance is very pleasant and musky. At the moment, I can get some vibes like musk, which reminds me of musk in the Invictus. The regular one, but when I smell very close, but when I smell side by side, this one leans more woodsier. Even Invictus is more woodsier compared to this one. You can imagine how fresh is this one. Absolutely, but that that musky vibe is touchable here, but Invictus leans a bit. I can say floral compared to this one, not as fresh as this one. So, just I want to say which fragrance is coming to my mind by smelling this one. So, muskiness of Invictus and citrusiness of Versace Purum. But this one is compared to Versace Purum, leans sweeter. There is more sweetness in this one, not as much as uh, Invictus, not as less as I can say. Uh, Versace Puro. So there is some sweetness here. <clears throat> okay, at the droid on that unpleasant vibe that I said to you when I sm you smell deeply, you can catch it. Totally disappeared. I cannot catch it. We have slightly smooth woody by some hint of citruses at the droid on, but. Uh, woody not like uh, for example sandals cedar woody to my taste it is like slightly smooth vetiver wet, dried vetiver vetiver gives also that woodsiness if i'm not mistaken i i feel it it is so soft that's why i believe it is vetiver vetiver and citruses plus a little bit of musk at the late dryden why of fresh totally separates than versace purum why then that's Invictus musky vibe and another fragrance shines for me loam that DNA of loam plus citruses so which fragrance is 
contains loam DNA plus citruses, loam sport. It smells too close to loam sport, but right now loam sport is slightly milkier compared to this one. There is not that milky vibe here. So if we reduce that milky vibe from loam sport, I can say these fragrances can be almost 70% close to each other or similar to each other so if it is a must-have or if i enjoy this fragrance this is a pleasant fragrance but for me at first i enjoy very much y edp after y edp y live after y live edt version and after edt at the last i do prefer y or fresh but i believe in my humble opinion if you have y edp you don't need the rest if you have y live even you don't need the others I don't prefer EDT and YO Fresh at all. I will be stick with my EDP because it performs and by less applying also you can go by that fragrance for extremely hot summer days. So at all this fragrance is not a great performer even I can say worse compared to the EDT but I don't believe that they designed this fragrance to be a performer. This for extremely hot days in my opinion but also I believe you can go by Y live or EDP also for extremely hot summer days. The thing that I can get out of this bottle is five hours maximum. It can last ten hours, but you have to dig the uh, skin to find something. You know what I mean? It lasts, but in terms of performance, for me it is five hours. About projection, sillage. I'm more satisfied of uh, sillage of this fragrance. Sillage is better. You can catch that pleasant waves but projection is not that projector half an hour you can have some soft projection after that like a cloud like a pleasant air very weak and near to your skin will project for one and a half hours more almost two hours very weak projection i can say to this fragrance very near to your skin the scent profile is pleasant i believe you're gonna get by this one compliments it is complimenting the type of scent dna not a magnet like edp like wildlife but it is okay after those fragrances personally i prefer this one for close encounters indoor office situations and uh, for extremely hot summer days maybe it is a good fragrance it's pretty versatile fragrance i like the way that it smells and i believe will shine better at extremely hot summer days I haven't tried it yet it is very new but I believe based on my experiences you're gonna get better reactions better sillage better projection by this one when out there is hot as hell that was my take on why of fresh don't forget to subscribe the channel if you have any opinion suggestion question let me know in the comments below I will answer you see you another video